Meghan Markle here. Today is January 23rd, 2023. It is 1.42 a.m. This is video number three. Video number three, I'm going to focus on some tweets that I had bookmarked or I created a list to share with you but never got to it because Saturday I didn't record. Sunday, yesterday, I didn't record anything. So these were the tweets that I was supposed to do during those days. But instead, I went to New York, you know, celebrate Chinese New Year with my in-laws. Okay, so these are some of the tweets. And hopefully, I think I have like 18 of them. So let's see how much I could do within an hour. Okay, so this is the first tweet. This one I sort of just added because I saw it earlier. I didn't add it on my last video. It is often said that pictures do not lie. All right, so let's look at this. This is uh, Charles and Diana. I commented on it, so I'll wait for my comment. There's Harry and Megan. Uh, Charles and Camilla. Oh, Lord. And there's this too. My goodness. Wow. Okay, so let's see here. Diana did actually love Charles. It was the time Charles seems to be trying that marriage thing. Okay, Harry will swallow Megan's face if he could. I'm going after each of these uh, images. Okay, I don't think even Charles really want to give uh, Camilla the kiss performance. She got the spot, meaning the crown, okay, where she wanted so she doesn't need to try. Okay, no need to try to show she cared. When was the last time she touched them? Kate took that time to touch William. All right, so that's that. Someone responded and said here, Okay, what? Uh, this tweet is from account you mute. I keep on seeing this thing. Okay, when the ranger said, Will can kiss Kate as per the protocol, Chuck said, Hold my beer. I don't know. I think Twitter is literally doing some stuff to me. The other day I find out, uh, what is it? Uh, Joe Diva, I blocked. I'm like, I never blocked her. I'm always commenting on her post and, you know, we, you know, we say silly things back and forth, but, um, Anyway, there's that. Diana loved Charles, and if she hadn't overshadowed him, they may have stayed together, but William and Kate can't even pretend. Harry talked about how drunk and nervous William was the day before the wedding, so I won't be surprised if he pulled a, was it, a, what's a C, a Charles? Harry and Meghan, on the other hand, had body language experts busy. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, let me go to the next one. I have a lot of other tweets to share with you. Kate Middleton, Max Prince Harry's mental health. Marjorie Wallace, close friend to King Charles, Mac Meghan Markle's mental health. My goodness. Okay, the royal family keeps on showing their true colors and proving the Sussex is right. Harry and Meghan were surrounded by vipers in the UK. Oh, that's for sure. Who could she be talking about? Kate raises eyebrows as she tells teens talking therapies don't work for everyone during hospital visit after psychoanalysis friend Prince Harry's book was launched. Whew! Like in one of the... Where did... Oh, I was reading something where Harry was talking to Megan. I'm paraphrasing. Where I think it when Harry spoke to Megan in a way that Megan wasn't uh, fond of. And when Megan asked Harry, where did he learn to talk to women like this? Did this, you know, happen in front of him as a child and stuff like that? And again, like I said, I'm paraphrasing. And Harry said yes. And then, uh, and I think Harry said uh, he's going to therapy or whatever. Things didn't work. And Megan was like, try again. Something like that. You know, when you're seeing people... I mean, if you're advocating for mental health and you're not consistent, people are not going to believe you. So you need to be consistent with your message. Why would you tell a young person that that doesn't work? 
All right. I don't think playing the victim helps. Founder of mental health charity Saint says Megan Marco should find ways of living with whatever disability or disadvantage you have after Duchess told of her suicidal thoughts. Wow. This is someone who is advocating for mental health and saying that whatever disabilities Megan has, she should find ways to live with it. What? So you're telling me someone who's, God forbid, uh, missed certain um, lamp, okay? So they should just sit in the corner, live with this disability, don't find ways to, uh, to be part of society. Do they really think of what they say? They think some of the thing that they saying only applies to Megan. Don't they think that some of the thing they saying apply to vast uh, majority? How do they see Megan? My goodness, did she forget her position once Megan come in, into the conversation? She forgot what she's advocating for. My goodness, there is always help out there. Okay, I'm not in the field of medical. Uh, of anything of medical field whatsoever but there are places you could go to help but definitely this woman you cannot go to her for help because she is not trying to give a helping hand instead of using that opportunity to highlight what she's advocating for but instead she's saying what was the thing say megan marco should find ways of living with whatever disability or disadvantage you have if the dis uh, disadvantage she has is the problem of suicidal thought, shouldn't you be there to give a helping hand and see how she could uh, not think about that? My goodness, these people, wow. Whenever Megan come into play, they forgot everything. All their moral, all their basic human decency out the window. They don't remember. But I don't think she should be in that position. If, well, then again, this is Daily Mail. If this is true, I don't know. But this is the last person I will go for help uh, if uh, for anything uh, mental health here. But they love to be in that position in the mental aspect of things. The royal family is putting people into men mental institution, helping the tabloid to uh, mentally unstable people, just like they did to Princess Diana, and Megan as example, but, and then their buddies pretending they're there to help people, but whatever, baggage for God. I don't know, what will our future, uh, you know, our great grandkids gonna say about us now? My goodness. Ooh. Okay, so there's me here, January 21st. Okay, at this point, I don't know if this is the kitchen sink or the pipes and the wall. It's quite clear by now. We can see what they put Diana through and she was dealing with these idiots by herself. History will not be kind to those who are carrying the palace dirty work. Shame on these people. Okay, I still have the same thinking. I even forgot I responded. Okay, William really married the perfect maid. One of the reasons Catherine is so popular amongst certain demographics, and I'm going to say older people and yeah. men. Is William really married the perfect maid. Because she says absolutely nothing. nothing. Yeah. She's a good little girl who keeps quiet and doesn't tell, doesn't complain, mm. doesn't, doesn't do anything, doesn't rock the boat, and is a very traditional, old-fashioned, mute woman. She's an obedient, submissive when bullied by William, yet when giving free reign, her narcissistic tendencies that dwell just under a surface rise to surface with the vengeance. <laughs> I like the way she put it. Her nonsense appear. Okay, karma is like a rubber band. You can only stretch it so far before it comes back and smack you in the face. Okay, I saw this this morning that said he was offering an olive branch. Uh, they could keep the olive branch. I don't know. These people, they always have an intention behind every action. Next tweet, mental health again. There's the same person again. Okay, royal family hag. Okay, Marjorie Shiona Wallace, CBE, is a British investigative journalist. What? Mm. Author and broadcaster. She is also the founder and chief executive of mental health charity. I don't know. These people, they go into this field of mental health when they actually the one who's putting people into it. Oh, I respond to it as well. Let's see here. I forgot. 
something is not right over there in Salty Island. Why do these people choose mental health as their choice when the majority of them are cause pain, grief, and anger? Why do they allow them to be part of this field? OMG. The majority of them are the cause of some of the people's pain. Look, I still feel the same way. My goodness, I and I even forgot I uh, comment on it. Return her to the crypt. There's that. This spinny tired looking uncouth troll. Good lord. Photos like this should come with some sort of a warning. Why do they all look this way? Resurrected, road hard. Oh my god. Put up wet, dental commercial before shot. I just take to my bed, take at least four tinnels and try to recuperate. Oh. All right, let's move on to the next one. Again, it has to do with mental health, maybe the same topic. Okay, another royal family, hag, mouthpiece, CBE and all attacking Megan while the royal family, royal rats remain silent. Oh my goodness, I responded to that too. Okay, ask not what KFC can do for you, ask what you can do for KFC. Uh-uh, my usual, well, civil British investigative. Okay, same thing. There she is here with Charles. Yeah, th this is why Charles said he has many friends. And I have a large number of friends. I'm terribly lucky to have so many friends. He has many friends to be in every post when needed. So there's the, some of the things that I've said before. Well, Charles sort of said it himself. He has many friends, but he, the friends that he has is to cover his bases for him when uh, when he need them so many friends who i think are wonderful and uh, make the whole difference to my life make the whole difference to my life which would become intolerable otherwise and this is is being played right now my goodness and they are in position of big decision making Okay, next tweet. I know KK kid, but you were very rude to Meghan Markle. Baldy had pointed his finger at Meghan Markle's face while he was groveling with foam in his mouth, yet you didn't fix it. You also let the wedding white girl tear to run on internet while you want to fix up your Tatler UK argument and court. Weird. Let's see here. But that was back in 2021. Kate Middleton says her real passion is learning about baby's brain. Oh my God, this thing keeps on coming. So that was way back in 2021. I thought that was more recent. Let's see here. People are laughing. They're just laughing. Laughing my ass off. Where to start with this girl? Lord Almighty. Guess she still doesn't understand the term then. There's a laugh. That's because she needs one. My goodness. Mm. So she's been talking about that. No result. Nothing to show. But okay, keep talking. The UK people are not saying anything. Next tweet. Try my best not to ask where she is really from. <laughs> this is the parody of Prince William. Look at how he's looking at her. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's looking right at her hair. You know he wants to ask. There's the laugh. Okay, they are spending much time with person of color lately. Clearly, none look comfortable. It is in the look. Poor Megan. Clearly, there was so much more going on behind the scene than we know. Does he ever not look disturbed? Okay, people are just laughing. Let's move on. That, that's the parody of Prince William Twitter account, okay? So that's not really Prince William. I don't know. Maybe he is. I don't know who's behind it. There's that person again. Marjorie Wallace, Countess Sane. Okay, this is her. Uh-uh-uh. Anti-bully alliance. Wow. Mm, but okay, another royal family psycho friend who answered the call. This investigative journalist needs to see if she can find her, her principal what accessible. There she is here. That's the same photo here. Yep, he got many friends. Friends every places. And I have a large number of friends. I'm terribly lucky to have so many friends. When he needs, he just call. Okay, add to the list of white women. As long as there are people beholding to that man and admirers of the system, the pandering will continue. We just need to remind the haters of this connection, the hypocrisy, and that we are not all psychophants. All right, next tweet. Looks like that was the talk of town on Friday. There's more. Okay, how dare Megan stay away from us this long? 
Where is she? What is she doing? We hate her. We miss her. How can she ignore us? Harry's gone quiet too. Why haven't they said anything about spare breaking sales record? The absent is disrespectful. His Majesty the King must remove the titles. Okay, so that was back in 21. Okay, when she does come out, I don't think they like it. She doesn't come out for no reason. Same as Harry too. When they both come out, they're disrespecting the Queen. Uh, no. Nah. I mean British people. All right, there's this. Hope they stay out of the sight till after King Charles III coronation. No, that's too long. Yeah, that's too long for that. Uh-uh-uh. They need to do their thing. Whenever that thing happens, just do your thing. All right, come out and do what you have to do. Promote your work. Who cares? It's the other people who's crying foul, but yet they can't mind their own business. If everybody mind their own business, do their own thing, there won't be no problem. The world was not created just for the royal family and it does not evolve around the royal family everybody is trying to live their lives okay and all of harry and megan's success could have easily been for the royal family but instead they kicked them out so whatever okay what is required here is for the media to explain their motive for smearing prince harry and megan's good name they don't owe the british media any explanation for their action the names of all these bad tabloid reporters should be listed and published okay where's the crying baby is that where's the baby so spot on uh it's amazing how much hate affects someone's reasoning there is no reasoning it turns you into an obsessive stalker all right, let's go to the next tweet. Okay, let's see. When was that? <laughs> so I'm responding. That was January 23rd. Let's see here. Oh, I retweeted that. Some, okay, that's me here. That's what pissing off Salty Island. So I retweeted that. So someone tweeted, Netflix, Spotify, Penguin, Random House, Better Up, FX, plus Harry and Megan. All right so they're counting their money and this is where i responded that's what piss pissing off salty island and that's it yep show is all right let's go into that and see what other people are saying okay clever blends people are adding to the list you're right forgot that one clever blends sis oops i forgot there are so many all right so the squad are there's that money okay isn't it great for harry and megan and that's what really pisses them off they wanted them to be suffer or asking them for money and then in return they could tell harry and megan you must do this you must do that in order to get a penny from them but there's harry and megan are successful they're independent they don't need their help so they piss okay next tweet i still don't understand how those in the media thought harry and megan would struggle once they left the uk there's me here okay i wow i was responding I forgot all about this. They didn't bother to know Megan. Her education pretty much prepared her for this. And she's been in this business. They were rather paying people to lie and smear her name. There's the space here. They want to stay in their bubble of liars. Reality remains. Okay, there's me fixing this. Okay, because he's the first to succeed. Ford Fiesta try and fail. Pedal Boy try and fail. Afro Annie never try. <laughs> <laughs> she knew king fat fingers will always have her back harry is the only one who successfully left camp cesspool and jealousy and hatred uh, what is it uh, uh the other one what's the other production one edward he he left and he fell too edward try and fell too there's that one here uh that's for fiesta yes her husband had a media company and charles made sure he fell my goodness uh, because royal family has always won by weaponizing the media to exercise their power and control. Harry and Meghan checkmate them as soon as they signed deal with a prestigious platform, which gave them a bigger voice and reach that was definitely unexpected by both royal family and UK media. Yep. Yep. Okay. You all, let's go into that. I think that's a good one. Okay, the royal family also could never have predicted godfather tyler perry that's another thing too they probably were cussing lots of blue words once they found out that they literally thought they had cornered and destroyed them yep okay hollywood versus little angleton okay about 200 miles away from little wanging 
Okay, I don't think Harry could have successfully left without Megan. She had her connection and previous money. Tyler Perry reached out to her in case she needed any help. Really, it was Megan who helped Harry to free himself and see his worth, or he would have still be there abused. Okay, yeah, he said he explained it. If they weren't really doing all this nonsense to Megan, that will never open his eyes. But for him, I truly believe he is so used to it. He's immune to it. So uh, he never really see it until it was happening to someone he loved and it helped him to open his eyes. All right, let's read what's on the screen and then that's it. Okay, you are talking about a delusional little island full of delusional people. Okay, because they hounded edward until he gave up and came back into the fold no one else has successfully left the difference is harry married an american who then royalty wasn't supposed to be successful outside the family okay they believe their own lies <laughs> that's for sure it's short-sightedness because none in the royal family has ever been successful outside the institution they are all beholden to whomever is holding the purse string that's why charles and was it c and w uh charles and william okay is it oh kate and william maybe catherine okay that's why catherine and william's first vindictive act was to cripple harry's financially like i said harry megan went to school for that it actually pushes them to do even more i don't know each time they try it actually make them stay on their toes next tweet Prince Harry Spare sold 3.2 million copies worldwide in its first week. All right, so there's a link here. I'm not going to read it. Okay, the publisher is laughing all the way to the bank. Good for them, I say. Okay, if some could put Harry Style in the middle of these two, it would be it would be the only pick I need. Uh, I'm, I don't really follow Harry Style, so, but I hear a lot about him. Okay, I wonder how many copies William's book will sell. Well, they once you gov does the poll, you see it will surpass it, it will surpass Harry, but in reality, it's not. Can't wait to see what his sales are when it's printed in different languages. Okay, well deserved success. There's a clap. I think Spare will indeed be the best selling non fiction book worldwide once all sales numbers come in. Okay, that's only for US, UK, Canada, and Australia. His true worldwide number is yet unknown. <laughs> okay, it was such a good book. Okay, this pick is a man to man. Yeah, and I have something where I say um, good company or role models or something like that. Uh, not this picture, but Obama was in it, and I think Biden was in it. Who else was there? I'm seeing three people. Maybe it was just Biden, Obama, and Harry. All right, next week. Why was the Sussex security pulled without warning after two months instead of one year? Because the world will have more sympathy for a family grieving the tragic loss of three family members to a crazed killer than it will have for a pack called blooded cultists who threw them out. That's another uh, point of view that I think is there as well. Okay, similar to the decision to abandon the Romanov cousins, perhaps adding more tears and a half mass flag sooner than Diana, a meeting was definitely had and a group decision was agreed upon. Royal family were too cowardly to phone Prince Harry. They phoned security guard, shame on Chuck and Egg. Yep. I mean, why didn't they do that? This is said, when people show you who they are, believe them. All right, so there's me responding here. Again, I was really responding to a lot of tweets. The Romanos probably doing their things right now. The Windsors are about performance. Family doesn't come first for them. It's what the people will think of them, and they always choose the worst option. They do fake polls to ease their minds. So what I was talking about here is that um, <laughs> Romanovs, wherever they are in the afterworld, they're probably trying to help Harry because what happened before they were murdered in uh, Russia, they had called um, the King of England for help if they could come to the UK, you know, as a place of refuge. First, the king said yes. Then he changed his mind because he did not want the people of the UK to uh, rally against him because the Romanovs themselves were very cruel. That's what I read. They were very cruel because of the their cruelty. George in the UK did not want the people in the UK to 
uh, rally against him for giving them uh, the Romanovs a safe place uh, to stay. But they killed them. The Russian people killed them. Okay, wow, how sinister, how very Renzo. They don't love like normal people. They love the monarchy more. Yep, that's that. Said, but so very true. Another princess, Diana 2.0. Oh, then the people pour their emotion into Dai's baby boys. Mm-hmm. They're just about performance. Like I said in one of my thumbnails on my other channel, yeah, they all are fakers. If they really care about Diana, the things that Diana went through, there it is, is being repeated again. You don't hear too many people actually coming and say, stop it. Okay, it's mostly people around the world, outside the UK, but not too many. Well, let me take it back. There are some. There's uh, Dr. Shola. Occasionally, I come across other videos that the squad share that, you know, really bashing. There's that white lady. as I don't know her name. I came across her a um, couple of times, and she's been talking, at least for now, I think she's been talking somewhat seriously in a human level, but there are others who just... My goodness, they don't come out to, you know, be on the right side of uh, history. Let me finish with this and that's it. Said, but so very true, another Princess Diana 2.0, then the people pour their emotion into Dai's baby boy. Exactly, poor Queen Elizabeth, poor Charles, poor William and Kate. Yep, that's what they were looking for, the sympathy, but God is good. Next tweet, there's that. They are blessed, they are loved, and will continue to thrive. There's the heart. Let's see this one. K News, Megan Marco's Archives podcast top charts all around the world. That was back in August 2022. Okay, this is old. Okay, Megan Marco is an immediate podcast success. Marco launched Archetypes on Tuesday and the show is already number one on Spotify chart in half a dozen countries. The debut episode title, quote, The Misconception of Ambition, end quote, featured tennis superstar Serena Williams as a guest and is the number one podcast in the United States, United Kingdom, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. Okay. There's this. UN photo, Prince Harry greets H.E. Abdullah Shahid, President of the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly, July 18th. All right, there's, look at Megan looking at Harry, so very proud. Very proud. This gives me the same vibe when Megan did the launch of the cookbook and Harry was in the background. I think he was next to Miss Doria and he was so proud looking at Megan. Yeah, that's the same thing I'm seeing here, but this time is uh, Megan returning it. This is the mayor of New York. Yep. Let's see here. There's that. Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, sells 3.2 million copies in first week. Prince Harry's memoir. There's that. Same thing repeated. There's that. Harry and Meghan is Netflix's most streamed docuseries globally. The series amasses 1.69 billion minutes of viewing time in the U.S. the week of December 12 to 18 and spent its fifth consecutive week on the top 10 TV series charts in nine countries. My goodness, this number is just in the U.S. only. But can you imagine worldwide how many eyes are looking at this? There's me responding again. All I'm thinking is the hard work that went behind their success. I'm happy their hard work pays off and kudos to their team. Without their support and help, their success wouldn't be possible. All right, two people like it. There's that. This is a nice compilation of some of their successful initiatives. Harry and Meghan have done so much. And spare, Prince Harry himself said that Meghan's resume was dizzying. Now they are tackling issues together, positive impact. Okay, each of us can change our communities. All of us can change the world. Okay, thanks. 1.69 billion minutes of viewing. Let that sink in and marinate happy for their success. Yeah, it's a lot. And it was just in the U.S. alone. But can you imagine when they add all the... Uh, over on the world okay i have four more oh i'm moving fast next tweet okay when you're beautiful wealthy successful happily married and your absence drive them crazier than your presence mm -hmm. yeah they were look, uh, asking where's megan there's no sound in that even though if i put it there's no sound okay 
there's that flower gorgeous heavy had no chance i remember this video i'd love to see her content again but i absolutely understand it if she didn't she was so good on tv show suits there's that still my favorite uh this was my screensaver a few years ago and then no megan at that time uh, okay that's a different language they worried because it'll affect their income if they can't gift from megan there's a heart and that next tweet okay team harry and megan always there's that i think that's when they were doing that christmas party that's from the docu series okay they are so cute together harry and megan there's that okay let's look at this where was oh that's probably well child maybe i'm not sure where is that i'm just guessing well child there's that so much could have been accomplished in the uk for the people but they kicked them out so there's no comment next tweet okay i see i put a side note as poll let's see 900 people based on an online poll come on now surely this isn't what people have quoted my new feed with okay okay i think there was something that was going on i don't think i bookmark it okay where did you get this crazy info omg is that it out of 68 billion of people on the planet earth there's that all right next tweet okay i have one more after this i can't believe i went through this really quick next tweet how it started how it's going okay a couple times i share some of her tweet with you so she had a gig in the us uh, on one of the tv station so i came across the tweet and the order that i see it the next tweet now i remember has to do with her as well okay many thanks to the folks at the bid with ari and the incomparable at ari melber for letting me take a spin in the big chair so great to be in a conversation with cecile richard uh jb saki howard dean and all these people joyce white vance oh oh i love her she is a former prosecutor i don't know if she's still a prosecutor oh she knows her stuff let me follow her she knows her stuff very well okay senator latoya johnson okay so there she is this is the professor the very smart lady too i follow her on twitter and that's how i came across uh, her all right let's see here okay there's her here again and thanks to all of you who watch and send warm wishes and good vibes so there's me here i didn't see the video that she made but later on i saw it and then i bookmark it right after this one okay i don't have cable i'm sure you did well congrats hope this expanded to much more bigger things the reason i said that because usually when the, a station at least that's what i see i never work for a tv station i do not know but it seems like my perception my humble opinion when they are about to hire you to give you your own gig they give them do uh they give those particular person to do a I guess this like a test fund to see how it will work and before they could give her her own show because she knows what's up she knows the law so she will do great on uh for a tv show like that all right uh it's as if you've been in the chair for years what a treat to be uh to be your guest so this is someone who was there who is that i cover uh supreme court of the united states the economist and teach political science okay book night dad of three runner view okay so that's another person who was there all right great job melissa all right so let's go to my last tweet and it's the video of her okay i didn't listen to it the minute i saw it i bookmark it okay our darling professor melissa moray okay the other mm like megan marco we all know professor moray Okay, Melissa Moray is a real one, but it was especially apparent tonight she carried that Sussex Squad energy loudly and proudly into any space she occupied. Thanks, Professor Twitter and that line. Okay? It's a minute and 23 seconds. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop in between. Okay, let's listen. I know that you regular viewers of The Beach are expecting me to spit some mad bars tonight, and I'm sorry to disappoint, but... I do have a bit of royal news to end the week. Specifically, we want to highlight Prince Harry's best-selling new memoir, Spare. 
Despite the British press's dim hope. So, Ari, the person she was taking over with, usually, I think, I think I've seen a couple of uh, the, the video. At the end, either at the end of each of his, um, I guess, uh, segment or something like that, or show at the end of the show, not segment. Segment is different. Uh, segment but the show at the end of the show he will have something to say about either uh, music or something entertainment so she came here she said I'm sorry I'm not gonna do this but this is what she had but instead she highlight uh, Harry's book spare and she's a squatty uh, I know of her through Twitter I follow her on Twitter so she bring spare into the show all right let people know about it for this book, the memoir is selling briskly. 3.2 million copies in its first week. And I'm only responsible for one of them. The book has made waves for its shocking, dramatic, and personal revelations. I like the way she, she said, I'm responsible for one of them, part of the numbers, okay? This is what happened. Each one of us add up to the amount that he got, yeah. That's why voting is important. You may think you're, you not voting may not be important, but eventually it does. They add up. The royal family and particularly the family's treatment of Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle. The memoir now is not just a rollicking good royal read. It also has the distinction now of being a Guinness World Record holder. This week, Guinness World Records announced that it is the fastest selling nonfiction book ever. Congratulations to the Ginger Prince. <laughs> Congratulations to the Ginger Prince. Hey, it is what it is. Before you go, I want to let you know where you can keep in touch with me. I am on social media at Prof M. Murray on Twitter and Instagram. And you can also check out my podcast, Strict Scrutiny, where I, along with my co-hosts, Leah Lippman and Kate Shaw, discuss all the things about the Supreme Court and the legal culture that surrounds it. You can find it wherever you get your podcasts. And that does it for me. Have a great weekend. The readout with Joy Reid is up next. Yeah, she did wonderful. So we got a squaddy on national TV uh, spreading the squaddy's news. Okay, there's me here responded. Oh, there you are. Squad's never disappointed. You did very well on this clip. I'm sure you did wonderful throughout the show too. Uh, I hope you get to host more. I think this was a test. There's me fixing it here. Was a test. I will not be surprised if you get your own show eventually. All right, two people like it. All right, let's go into it and see what other squaddies are saying. Okay, Professor Morvi said she's responsible for one of them. Yeah, of those cells. In my case, I'm responsible for two, the audio and the hard copy. Okay, Sam, two over here. Okay, I see we are both fans of Professor Morvi. Now, let's petition for her to get her own show. That's what I think it is. I think it's a test. She probably will get her show. Okay, yes, there's that. Professor Morvi energy is like this guy. <laughs> Oh, 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 they all dancing. Oh, there's more. I'm not even going to put the audio because uh, I will get black. Okay, there's this. I listened to strict scrutiny to support Megan Marco. Oh, uh, Melissa Moray. Not Megan Marco. Melissa Moray. Oh, damn. It's a whole bunch of them. Okay, and it's such a fountain of knowledge. I'll look for it. I didn't listen to her yet. I didn't even know she had a podcast. Now I do. Okay, thanks for... Thank you, Professor. Squaddy in the house. Thank you, Melissa. There's this. She's a squaddy for real because we drop Harry and Megan news everywhere we go. Okay, I love, love her. So consistent. That's why. Even there was one particular interview they were doing. Uh, sh she was being interviewed on that same network. I don't know if it's the same show, but the same network. And behind her was some stuff. I don't remember what it was, but it was something about the... Uh, about harry and megan or megan only i don't remember what it was because i remember pointing it out okay congratulations squaddy she's the good thank you yep that's right that's the heart all right so that is it i can believe i cover all of this tweet in one under a minute it's actually 40 minutes let's pick a prayer let's do a prayer for i don't know the word well intention well intention whatever it may come it is Prayer for well intention. That's it. That's all came to mind. Wow. I'm surprised there's something. Okay. I give you my mind to think as you think. I give you my spirit so that you may pray in me. I give you myself so that I may become more and more like you. So that it is you, Lord Jesus, who lives and works and prays in me. Amen. Okay. Let's pick an image. 
I was thinking this one and then my eyes went into that. Let's let's do this one first okay so do not fear for i am with you do not be dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand isaiah this and i said this one dear god thank you for the resurrection of your son jesus we want to celebrate him every day of our lives in a world that grows increasingly dark help us hold up his light give us the courage to speak as boldly as mary magdalene did and never be ashamed of proclaiming your good news in jesus name amen i think these are two good prayers all right so that is it no more i'm up to date now by the time you know uh during the day there's gonna be so much going on okay let's that's it please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you want to support this channel there's a paypal link and a cash app link in the description you could donate those who have donated thank you and i will try to create a patreon account so stay tuned for that i will make it as much of affordable as i can because i have to pay for the platform that's why i believe but until i will look into it more now i have a reason to be on patreon before i didn't really have much of a reason but to, um what is it youtube is very tight with me right now so i'm probably gonna have to create a patreon account to continue the work and I was trying to avoid it. And this is why I did this backup channel. But it seems like it's getting tighter and tighter. Okay. So that's it. Thank you for your support. privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. Oh, <laughs> my